What's up, Mama Maniacs? Today, I have great news. I have so many things happening. First off, Grayson is feeling better. Let's raise the roof for that one. Feeling better, feeling better. Yes, Grayson's feeling better, so we're gonna film with Grayson later today. And also, I'm gonna have you guys vote on what colors to kind of paint my house. I'm gonna give you very minimal selections because I have kind of already picked out what I want that color palette to look like, but voting is always the best. So after you see what I'm asking for, leave what you think in the comments below. Next, I am going to be sharing a goal with you guys, kind of. I'm gonna write it down here on the channel today and the goal is to accomplish it by Penny's birthday. That's right, Penny's birthday. That's what's happening today, here we go! So as you can tell, the house is still not done um, there's two shades of paint ever since they knocked down the patio so we're looking at getting our house painted we're also looking at what colors we want to paint the house today so we knocked down a patio and we're putting up a half patio and it's not gonna be fully enclosed it's only gonna be half of the patio which is awesome plus I'm having my amazing contractors that I've had for many many years work on the house actually Tanya recommended these guys to me and they've never let me down let me show you everything that we need painted there's a lot of house to cover and then you'll give me your idea you'll kind of get a gist of what the house overall looks like so this is joe's studio it's kind of soundproofed so you can still see some fiberglass this is the first studio and basically all of that like maroon and dark gray and the actual house is white i'm not a fan of any of that and it's not even a white it's like a nasty yellow beige i I personally think I want to go with a very white house with a super dark trim. This is my brother's guest house. Again, it's like tri-colored. Not a fan. No, I'm not a fan at all. So there's this house and that's a fake door. This used to be a garage, but now, of course, as you know, it's the guest house. Okay, so this is the front of the house. Oh, looks like my brother's about to take the kids for a walk. I really do want this house to be mainly one color. I definitely want to keep the red brick, and I'm thinking of painting this beautiful screen door. I've never seen a screen door like that. It came with the house. And honestly, I love it. And a lot of people aren't fan of screen doors, but it's great for summertime, for a nice breeze at night. So I was thinking of painting the screen door. What do y'all think about that? I already asked Joe if we could paint the house black. I'm actually really inspired um, regularly by this family on Instagram called The Gray Gang. I'm totally inspired by them. I love the mom. She's got five kids. She's like living that hustling mama life <laughs> in the best way possible. So she just painted her house this super dark charcoal and it looks amazing. And I really was thinking that this could be such a cool idea for this house. Even with leaving the exposed red brick, it would be really cool, but Joe vetoed that idea. So I'm going back to feeling like a super bright white house with like a charcoal trim. What do y'all think? Let me know your thoughts. I would also leave the fence and then when Joe redid his studio, he added a eyesore right there. All of a sudden, we have this massive air conditioning unit that is not cute. I'm thinking of painting that panel to kind of make it blend in with the wall. Oh Lord, I'm just not a fan of that, that whole area I'm not a fan of. Maybe I need like a large bush or like a machine gun or something. <laughs> just kidding. So those are the three units that we would be painting. I would leave the shed bright white, which y'all have seen on previous vlogs. You want me to show you the color palette that I'm thinking? Me too! Do I paint the ceiling in here? I mean, of course, right? And then what do I paint it? Do I paint it like a bright white or do I paint it like that dark color? I feel like the dark color would make it feel like very low and shallow down to the ground. My brother is thinking this dawn gray right here. And I am thinking two colors that I really like. I like nightclub and I like private black. These two right here. I think it'll look really pretty with like the exposed red brick throughout the, our entire place. Even like the, the sidewalks that I walk on are exposed red brick, so it's like a nice accent overall. Tell me what y'all think about that. So I'm letting y'all vote on that, even though I really don't know. So crazy, like now that I'm outside, I'm almost thinking like private black is a little too brown for me. I kind of like limousine leather. See, I'm so indecisive. I like ink black because it's not like super, super black, but it's pretty black. All right, so here's ink black. 
kind of like ink black. I mean, now that I'm seeing nightclub outside, it has a strong blue hue to it. And I don't want that. I just don't know. It's such a hard decision considering you're gonna have to live with it. Limousine leather? All right, here's limousine leather. That's also an option. What is a girl to do? All right, so I would say my new options are private black, which does have like a very mild brown tone to it. Limousine leather, ink black, which has a blue tone to it. Maybe carbon. All right, now that I've bored y'all out of your mind. Okay, I'm gonna write a goal right here. I'm a goal-oriented person and I'm going to seal it on camera and open it on Penny's birthday. Penny's birthday is March 16th, but I'm gonna Write a goal, open it on March 16th, show you what that goal is. But between now and then, that is my goal. And that's two months from now-ish. February is kind of short, but that's my new goal. Am I telling you what my new goal is? No. But afterwards, I will show you what it is. I'll open it on March 16th and kind of give you an idea of where I'm going. All right, here we go. I've written my goal and the reason why I'm recording it because I feel like you guys hold me to it. I won't give up if I know that there's pressure building right here. All right, we're sealing it. Goal has been sealed. All right, it's official. Hi, Grayson. Somebody's feeling better. Let's see how many times he'll climb up. Come on. You got this. Good job, buddy. Good job. You did it. Oh, scared me. Woohoo! There's one. Good job, Grayson. Good job. What do you have to say? Yay! Yay! Round two. Yo, don't start the daredevil. Good Uncle Born. You got it. Woohoo! That's four for today. Good job, bro. All right. See y'all later. Bye guys. Bye. See you later. You and Born can sleep in there tonight. I see you. Hi. He's going again. Uncle Born's not there to catch you this time. Good job. Woohoo! Grayson! Yay! Good job, Penny. Is that gonna go in my office? Oh, I love it. So pretty. Don't lose your paper. You wanna start a new one? Yeah. Clean paper. Ambidextrous. Woo! Masterpiece. It's looking good. You're going back to that pink. You like the pink red. Alright guys, today's shout out goes to Kara Boisic right there. I just want you to know I always see you posting. I'm always loving what you're saying and thank you for being a part of this channel. A lot of you are asking, when's my shout out going to happen? Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click the bell, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye Mama Mania.